in this video I want to talk about how to draw uh, box and whisker using Excel now this is one of the things that Excel is unable to do on its own it doesn't have an option of drawing box and whisker now that's one of the things that at level 1 and level 2 in NCE students need to draw and uh, if they're able to draw use Excel they should be able to uh, use Excel to draw though the number of steps is long if you practice it I'm sure that uh, you can draw excellent box and whiskers and uh, then write inference now what I've done is I've got a spreadsheet this is I want to compare the hours of sleep of two types of mammal now on the left hand side this is uh, I got 30 animals who weigh uh, up to 10 kg okay this is the data of sleep hours of sleep that mammals up to the weight of 10 uh, and this is the weight this is the information of the hours of sleep of mammals over 10 now if you want to download this spreadsheet uh, this is the link if you click on this link it will take you to the or if you copy this this is how you do it if you copy it so let me show you copy better open a, open a let me close this suppose let me sign out now this is if you just for those who don't know how to so let me close this okay so if you open a web browser say let me open a web browser so this is google chrome and on the top url bar copy that and if you enter it will take you to the document now this is a document and then if you go on file and download you can download the document okay and then this is a document opened here so if you click on that this is the same thing okay and then you can em enable it okay so this is the spreadsheet and I want to draw a box and whisker of this and this okay so first let's calculate the stats so uh, for box and whisker we need minimum we need uh, lower quartile we need upper quartile no sorry median we need upper quartile and we need max oops we need maximum okay hopefully I have made many videos on how to m uh, calculate this summary statistics so this is min uh, open bracket and then the data so if you click on that control shift down arrow it will highlight the whole data okay and then close the bracket that's your minimum okay and you can see the minimum I have also sorted this from the minimum to the maximum so the minimum is 6.1 for lower quartile you go quartile bracket uh, highlight the first data then you go control shift down arrow it will automatically highlight all the data and lower quartile is the first quartile comma one okay now let me show this bigger so that you can see what I'm doing okay so yeah let me drag this so you can see the formula so you go equal median median open bracket and uh, control shift down arrow and that will give you median that is C2 can you see this is C2 this is C2 this is in column first co C, column C and row 2 that's how you read it C2 to C31 this is C31 close the bracket that's median for quartile low upper quartile same you start with quartile bracket this is your first data control shift down arrow and then you have to type in comma 3 because your upper quartile is a third quartile okay 14.475 that's fine and then maximum 
by the way Excel uses a different formula to calculate lower quartile and upper quartile okay so again the same thing go on the first uh, data control shift down arrow and close the bracket okay so this is 19.9 and you can see the maximum is 19.9 okay now just to confirm whether Excel calculates it correctly median is 12.5 so if you have 30 data your middle data will be the 15th and the 16th data am I right so let me show you uh, and can you see this is your 15th data and this is your 16th data so your median is between the 15th and the 16th which is 12.5 okay so once you do this let me scroll you have to make a cell a new cell called length so you can say call this length of boxes length of boxes double click so so the top on the top used the right zero there I'll explain why that zero is so in this cell against minimum you go equal minimum minus your upper cell so basically I'll explain the meaning of this so your first box is going to have a length of 6.1 this minus this this box minus this box is so this value minus this value is the length of the first box and then if you just catch the tail and double click so what is how does how did cal Excel calculate this this is if you see the formula there this is L8 this is L L8 minus L7 okay now this is if you click on that it will tell you the formula that is L10 this is L this is column L this is cell 10 can you see it? this is highlighted this is L and this is 10 so this is L10 minus L uh, L9 okay so I'll explain the meaning of this don't worry so this is your boxes okay once you have the boxes you have to highlight the boxes all the boxes and then you go to insert go to insert I, I also got a I'll also upload a, a document where all these instructions are given so those who don't understand what I'm saying you can read the instruction and do it it is all on Google Drive so go to insert so I'll do, say it again first highlight the boxes uh, go to insert and go to bars okay and click on this the second bar on the top right so if you click on that you'll get bars like this now this is not box and whisker so let I'll delete this click on that and delete it then click click on one of the bars and then on the top row you can see switch rows and rows to column okay so click on this switch so these are this is what we're talking about this is the bar these are the boxes so what has what has Excel done so let me make this smaller so that you can see so this is your first box of 6.1 can you see this is your first box so this is your first box this is your second box this is the third fourth and five boxes so this is what we want this box and this box is what we want this is something that we don't want this we don't we want to delete this this and this now to delete that don't just delete it you click on click on this box and then you go control 1 if you press control 1 this window will open now go on file fill no fill okay so that box has been deleted that is there but we it is there but the box has the color has been deleted so use the arrow key go to the next box or click on the box same way control one fill no fill okay so and then click on this control one sorry fill no fill 
you'll understand once you go through the process. Okay, so let me drag this to this side. Okay, now this is, I want to format the axis, so click on the axis, format axis. I will go, the maximum was, so you can go fix from 0 to, say, 20. 0 to 20 at a step of 2. So this is 2. So this is your scale. I don't need this, so click on that, format axis, close it, and then click on this. I don't want the Y axis. I don't want these good lines, so click on that, sorry click on these good lines and delete it. So this is your box. This is your box. Okay, and I want to draw the viscous. Now the vis viscous, so this is your lower quartile. This is your lower quartile. So let me drag this so that you can see what's your lower quartile. So your lower quartile is 9.65. Can you see this is 9.65? Your median is 12.5. Your upper quartile is 14.475, and I would just want to add the viscous. Yeah. For that, it's a bit tricky. So click on this box, green box, and use the arrow key to go to the next box. Okay, and once you click on that, you go to layout. Go to layout, and you can see an error bars. Click on error bars, and then you go to more error bars more error bars option click on that and then you click on minus and then you go to percentage click on percentage make it 100 percent type in 100 and there we go this is your, this is your visca can you see your minimum is 6.1 here now i want to have to have a visca here the same process slightly different here error bars more error bars Okay, and then you go to click on plus, and then you go to custom. Okay, I need to drag this, and then you have to specify what's your custom. So press specify value, and this is what we want. So if you, this is the last, if you click on that, and then you press OK, and then you close it, this is your box and whisker, which is? 19.9 uh, this is 19.9 okay so this is a perfect so and then you can do the labeling so let's make it better so so this is the box plot of uh, hours of sleep of mammals up to 10 kg so this is a title, you can make it smaller, I don't want this big, so highlight it, go home, make it say 16 or 14, 12, so this is your box, okay, so this is your title, and then I want to label the axis, so, so click on highlight the graph, go to layout, and axis title, this is horizontal below the axis. So this is hours of sleep. So this is a box and whisker of this data. So you can you can click on that, highlight it, then you can cut it, and then also you can paste it, open a Word document, and then paste it. So this is a box and whisker of hours of sleep of mammals, and then you can of course write what are these values okay so this is so let me uh, okay and then you can write the values so let me bring my pen tool if it's working okay so let me get my pen tool you can write this okay so now pen tool is working now if you click on so this was let me see the values here so these are the values that we wanted say let me highlight it, copy this. I just want to see the value copy and let me paste it here. Okay, so Control V. So 
So 6.1 is my minimum. So let me scroll up. So 6.1, so you can write in, or you can also use box, uh, text box to type this in. So this is 6.1, this is 9.65, and this is 12.5. This is 14.475, so you can say this is say 14. You can round this up, so this is 14.5. Okay, or 48 if you want to write in 2DP, and this is 19.9. So this is a professional looking box and whisker of mammals. Okay, now <clears throat> if you want to do uh, for the these animals, you can do the whole process again. So under the video, under my video, you'll have this link. I will copy and paste. You'll have this link and also a worksheet where I have gone through all the instruction. Hopefully this video has been helpful and uh, you can draw uh, excellent box and whisker using Excel. Though it's a long-winded way of doing it, it is better to have a tool to draw box and whisker than by doing it by hand.